Okay, so I made a quick comment last night this morning waking up uh, a little bit caffeinated. Just did these yay out for whatever the fuck else I have in there. But one thing I've added to the stack, um, and I've just ordered in some more uh, ZMA, which is a community ZMA, and I don't know what they is except for a okay with me. Um, but sometimes it's one, one of them I think is a calcium uh, magnesium. And zinc. Zinc is relatively low in the mix, it's around 13 milligrams, whereas the magnesium is like 100 and something milligrams. Uh, the uh, calcium, I think, is 200 or 300 something milligrams. So, two or three of them, and you have your zinc content for the day if you don't have it in your food. But of course, eating healthy is better, but it's also a lot uh, more in voluminous. Um, but one thing I always generally try to go for is a multivitamin. This one happens to have. Uh, it has a uh, vitamin B12 in it as well as uh, folate, which is good. And then since I, I'm vegan more or less, so uh, occasionally I have fish. But other than that, I don't have any animal meat unless I find it in the woods, which they don't do in, in the, these parts too often since I'm in an urban area. But uh, there's uh, 12 milligrams of zinc. So my daily zinc intake with the DHEA should be a lot higher. Um, the thing is, is that uh, zinc in the presence of uh, precursors to testosterone or testosterone um, is important because with uh, an absence of the uh, zinc, it can break down into estrogen and there will be more estrogen production. It's the same as having a starvation reflex. Uh, the estrogen um, tends to promote weight gain, uh, so if you're low calorie intake or otherwise, then you'll have a higher in chance of produce production of uh, estrogen as opposed to testosterone. So uh, this one has omega, garlic, and ginseng. I'm also taking or eating garlic um, additionally, but it's nice to have the ginseng and the omega fatty acids are also an important uh, part of uh, the testosterone production. Not necessarily omega-3, but... Uh, that specific type for cholesterol. Um, so yeah, if you are taking DHA supplementation, um, it is a banned substance, but uh, I'm not doing anything professionally, uh, nor do I plan to, uh, unless Coke gives me some type of endorsement or something. But uh, the multivitamin is important uh, if you don't even have like just the zinc stuff. So uh, I probably be another week or so until the DMA comes in, and then. I'll uh, be good for my zinc because if I'm taking two of these a day, that's 26 milligrams, which is still well under uh, my zinc intake uh, for what it should be. I should be at least 40 milligrams per day, although the DRI or daily recommended intake is uh, a lot uh, lower. Same with vitamin B12, it's much lower, um, but you want a higher B12 level than what the uh, minimum uh, re recommended intake is, which is only you know, not a lot at all, but I recommend far more than that because it promotes uh, cell production and otherwise, which you want. Um, if you're trying to build muscle, you need to have more B12 in your body for uh, muscle development and repair particularly. So uh, having a good multivitamin or a supplementation, I have the B12 and the, the GMA, so with calcium, so that's for bone strength muscle growth and otherwise. We'll see how it works. Um, you still need to actually work out and not just talk. So I'm going to go and I'm going to start my day already tweaked. So I have no argument with that. I'll get to Saturday before I know it and uh, then I can have some actual sleep again. Sleep's important, but uh, sadly I like being awake. More so in the mornings.